Hey everyone, in this video I am demonstrating how to create your own custom overlay for Social Stream Ninja. Your own chat overlay, your streaming chat page, your own design, your own whatever. Let's get going. Um, we will go to the GitHub's, uh, the GitHub code repo where all the code is stored. And I'll first mention that there's a folder called themes. This will give us an example of what we'll be building. You can create your own custom layouts, your own custom themes. Uh, there's a variety here with a lot of instructions on how to use them. So there's types of layouts, the benefits of certain types, how to deploy, how to address problems. All the details here are available. I would actually recommend you read this if you're interested in all the different methods. We will be using, however, a template called sample overlay. Now, if we open it, we just get the code. Um, but we can check out what it looks like out by opening our normal doc page, doc.html and our session ID. We can just take sample overlay, replace the word doc, and then we can send some test messages. So it's the same link as this, but we just replaced sample uh, doc with a sample overlay. It's important that we have our session ID listed. That can be found here. That tells the, the page what chat messages to essentially show. So what we want to do in this example is we want to um, use AI to create custom CSS, um, custom CSS style sheets that we can use to stylize how the page looks without having to actually do any of the restructuring. A simple way that we can do this is we have the code here. We're going to click on raw. I'm going to hit control A on, on my windows, copy all. I'm copying the entire code under 300 lines to the clipboard. I am going to go to my AI bot now. Uh, you can use open AI chat GPT. If you want, I'd recommend using open AI's plus or pro plans for the more uh, advanced chat bots, but the free one would technically work. It's just not going to work as well. At DeepSeek, if you get a large enough model version of that, it should work as well. Um, Gemini, the advanced Gemini 2.0 models should work as well. The one I prefer personally is Claude, Claude Sonnet in the normal style. It is paid in most cases. I think you can get it for free if you use Copilot or something like that. But anyways, we paste our code in and then we now just ask the bot to do something. So this is an overlay for a live chat stream with uh, names, messages, and some other data like avatars or donations. I want to change the current style so that it has a heavenly space theme that makes me happy to look at lots of rainbows i don't know whatever you want i'm just testing the ai bot here please provide the changes as only CSS. So just provide the style sheet section only. I do not want HTML or JavaScript. That's it. If we don't say just CSS, it will give us the HTML and the approach we are taking here will not work then. Enter. Now it's going to go, it's going to give us exactly what we asked for, just the CSS section. Fantastic. Now, while this is going, I'm going to take our page here and I'm going to open up our OBS here, a little bit of psychedelic effect. I'm going to open up the browser source. I'm going to paste in our link. So on the left hand side of the screen, we should see some messages appear. There we go. So the, we now have messages on the left side of the screen up here. Uh, okay. Now that Claude's done, we can take the CSS, copy paste, and it will, it will give us a little instructions maybe. Okay. Well, it just gave us the CSS. So we'll go in here and we will 
replace the existing CSS, this custom CSS CSS section with this. We hit apply and now we can press some buttons. I don't know what we're seeing. That's kind of cool. Yeah, rainbows. That's what we asked for, I guess, right? And to give you an idea what this might look like on stream. Boom. It did screw up this can this overlay bar. So maybe we can try overflow hidden. Let's send a few more messages to it. Look how sexy that is. Okay. So this is a heavenly space theme that makes me happy to look at with rainbows. Not bad. One trick with AI, again, is that as you continue the conversation, it gets progressively dumber. So every three to five, com every three to five interactions, you are probably going to want to copy your code, create a new conversation and start from kind of scratch. Okay, uh, thank you for watching guys. If you have questions, uh, I'll answer them as best as I can, but check out discord, discord.socialstream.ninja for proper support. Bye-bye.